Cedric Alexander is president of the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives and earlier I asked for his reaction to the grand jury not indicting the officer in the Ghana case. Take a listen. The decision is in uh, and uh, that has been brought forth and made public uh, uh, to that community and all of us across the country and around the globe as well too. Uh, what we have to do now is really continue to to work as a community and police agencies across this uh, country and figure out uh, how we're going to regain that trust and recapture, uh, maybe for the first time, uh, build trust between police and community. And so we've seen protests erupted on news of the grand jury's decision and many are now asking why they decided not to indict the officer when you consider that the use of a chokehold is pro prohibited by the New York Police Department mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the medical examiner states that the chokehold led to Garner's death in combination with pressure on his chest from being mm -hmm. in that prone mm -hmm. position. How do you explain that to people? Well, you know, when you have a community in, uh, who, who, who for historically in this country just have not had a great deal of faith uh, in its uh, police departments, and you'll find that in many cities across this country, uh, no matter how you try to explain it, it makes it very, very hard for citizens and, and, and people in the community to understand or grabs hold of. And I think all of this at the end of the day uh, we have a judicial system, whether we agree with it or not, that is the system that we have. And if it's parts of that system where there needs to be some changes made, then we have to sit down and we have to talk about it. Uh, but we have to do it in an environment in which it's going to create a uh, dialogue, uh, but nothing is going to be resolved uh, through any other method than us communicating with each other and us, of course, being police and community and the criminal justice and department in its entirety. And, of course, in the wake of the Michael Brown case, there has been much debate about whether police should be wearing cameras in the line of duty. And in the Eric Garner case, there was video evidence of what happened. Why mm -hmm. do you think it was not enough for the grand jury? Well, you know, I, you know, certainly I was not in that grand jury uh, proceeding. I don't know uh, what evidence was uh, produced and, and, and how it was presented to uh, that grand jury. And true enough, I mean, all of us uh, certainly saw that piece of footage. Uh, but I, I don't know what variables they took into consideration to, to, to reach their decision. Uh, but here again, uh, the decision has been made uh, at that level, and I will continue to say that as a nation, we got to promote this issue and move this issue around police and community relations in this country uh, so that as we move forward, people feel more comfortable with their criminal justice system as being one that uh, people feel is, 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 is being considerate of them in circumstances that may come about. Uh, so it's not going to be uh, an easy job, uh, but one thing that we have to do as a nation, we got to move forward, we got to communicate, we got to talk about uh, changes that maybe need to be made in a criminal justice system. I don't know, but we need to begin to have a reasonable conversation, but we also got to begin to trust each other as well, too. Cedric Alexander, thank you so much for talking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.